So this is our first course now. I'll get this close. 151. Yeah, it's there Tadhana. it is. Tadhana. There it is. So we finally arrived to Tadhana. Take a look mm -hmm. at it. By Frances Tariga. So she's that famous chef who has really made a name for herself here in New York. And um, yeah, we're so going to let them know that we, we started at 8 o'clock. It's mm -hmm. about. 724 right now so we took a, a lift from our hotel it took us about what 20 minutes it took us about 25 minutes Five to minutes, get here yeah. and it was a pleasant ride there was some traffic but you know it wasn't too bad but we got to see a lot of sights and um, right now we're just waiting outside here yeah. and it's a small place so it, yeah. it's limited so they have two seatings a night i think one at six, six o'clock yeah. and then one at eight o'clock so we got the eight o'clock because we were coming in from palm springs yeah. and we wanted to make sure that we got here because if you don't show up they charge you <laughs> so what are you most excited about this place um well what we saw in um uh, bon Appetit, you know, that documentary. So she has a tasting menu and she uses really creative ways of reinventing Filipino cuisine. You know, famous dishes there. So I don't know what the menu is going to be. I don't know if the menu that I saw on the old website is the same as she has now or she, if she's changed it, which is what a lot of these people do for tasting menus. So, um, That's yeah. It. We should probably announce our arrival and just wait outside yeah, or whatever. That's it. Yeah. This it's a this small building. place, but just take a look around this, here. Yeah, this is the We're right next to a <laughs> yeah. surrounding buildings. There you go. Yeah, so it's on Allen Street. 151 yeah. Allen Street. Yeah, and this is, is the restaurant. Right? Yeah. So I don't know if we should get in now or through the tasting menu. So hopefully we meet Frances, huh? Yes, I hope so. She's really a trip because one of the things that stimulated us too was her sense of humor exactly. and her unfiltered, you know, self and talking How about How do you say that? Her joie, joie de vivre. Well, that too, but you know, she's just like, sounded a lot of funny. I mean, she was really funny. We were laughing so mm. much when we were watching her uh, documentary. So we're really looking forward to seeing her and hopefully we get to meet, meet her. her. Yeah. You know, I love... Should we go in now? Oh, as we push, it said pull. <laughs> <laughs> We're here. Right. Everyone. Okay. Oh, fantastic. Enjoy. Thank you. We will. Hello, what's the name of the recipe? Oh, look at this. Read that, Adam. Oh, yeah, that's right. She does this. Happy anniversary. So we just got here and we found a note on oh, our sorry. table. Uh -huh. What does it say? It says, Happy anniversary. We wish you all the best. Thank you for celebrating with us. Chef Francis. Wow. And they're playing Filipino song. OPM. This is nice. Ah, oh, so sweet. You keep that, okay? okay.
Who here? Teeny low. So I want to show you something. It's a 13 course tasting menu. So this is what they have here. All right. Okay. Yes. Teeny low. Oh, they have in a sal narayonong pakpak grilled chicken wing. Penoy at caviar. Mm -hmm. They have bulalo, which is bone broth. We should go into each one, you know, once we get it yes. and just go through that. Grilled prawns. Oh my god, it looks so wonderful. Mm -hmm. Steamed rice caldereta. They have caldereta. Mm -hmm. All right, made with guts. Halo oh. Halo and uh, Maha Blanc yeah, are one of my favorite desserts. Mm -hmm. So it's a 13 course tasting menu and this is what we're gonna have tonight. Exciting. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Uh, I can't wait. <coughs> that one can't wait either. Uh, oh, yeah. Salad, really nice culture. An amber pool with caviar on top. It's really nice, bright purple. Second one is our pork rib, pinagonga. So, oh, pork ribs. Banana dish of white on top of my yeah. so I have some bubble and jam with tomatoes, krill, very sweet and savory. So, so instead of 13, we do 15. Let's do it. Yes. Yeah, I want to do both. I, I love both. Yes, let's yeah. do both. So the pork rib is good for two people to share. The crab cake, they recommend per person. It's one crab cake. You could share one or you could do one each. Do you want to have a crab cake? share the crab cake. But is that the ginataaning base? Is that it? The crab cake. It's like the coconut turmeric sauce. Mm, okay. Let's have one each. Let's have one each. So we'll have one of the... Crab cake each. So one crab cake so, and one yeah. Yeah, that, one oh, to share. Yeah. Like one. No, no, no. Uh, we're not food? sharing. Yeah. Okay. So two crab cakes, right. one pork rib. So the pork rib should we share? Is that enough to share? Okay, that's it. E each one gets a single crab cake. Okay. And um, we'll share the um, the pork. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> it's worth it. Here. Cheers. Cheers. Happy anniversary. Happy yeah. anniversary. So what was the thing that you were talking about? Oh, so I didn't have to do it. I should. I love crab cakes. I mean, God, you can't do it. So when For Destiny in Tagalog. Um, welcome, by the way. Uh, so, a little story about Tadhana. Uh, I'm Francis Tawiga, I'm the owner of Tadhana. Um, I was born and raised in the Philippines. <clears throat> Came in America 2011. Uh, but like most Filipinos around the world, I started my career in Dubai, in the Middle East. I was once called an overseas Filipino worker where you uh, work for a year with contract and then you send all your money back home and never see it again. <laughs> um, worked there for seven years. Uh, I was a private chef for Princess. And then when I came here 2011, I became the private chef for the Royal Ambassador of UAE to the United Nations. Wow. Um, the goal when I came here was just to be on a show called Chop. I was like, I want to be on that show. <laughs> you know, I'm traveling with a princess. Yes, check out, uh, you know. Um, came here, you know, after two months, I applied for the show. You know, Asian, lesbian, fake accent, good TV. <laughs> I the show. And that doesn't want to show afterwards. I even know the word cohesive. I was like, what the f 
Oh, you know, you know, you use that word in the guy in, 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 you know, in everyday life. But like, you know, um, then I started working in New York restaurants. Um, um, I, you know, I work on myself also. You know, in order for you to get there, you, have, you really have to like embrace the culture. Make, have a little accent, American accent, you know, uh, blend in. And then really work hard and hone your skills, basically. So I work in a lot of big New York restaurants, so volume restaurants. Uh, my first uh, lesbians, right? I'm gonna do one vegan gig. <laughs> so I did that. Um, and then two years ago, I joined a show called Sushi Masters. Uh, and then some hustle. We had a good run last year. Oh my God, we got, we went viral. But then again, you know, I've been cooking for 21 years. You know, um, I. I've honed my skills and I was born and raised in the Philippines. I've done a lot of cuisines and I feel like, you know, it's our time. It's Filipino time. It, there's 7,700 dialects in the Philippines with 77 dialects, very rich in culture. Each island have their own endemic ingredients that we're going to showcase today. So tonight, um, you're going to have 13 courses. Unfortunately, you're not going to have um, lumpia and adobo, okay? Uh, we're going to serve our Filipino dishes and then we're going to start with our uh, bread course first we call this uh, pande grot so it's a forbidden rice sourdough um, and then we top it with quesong puti so quesong puti is white cheese in Tagalog it's, uh, in the Philippines it's normally made from caramel smoke, but there's no caramel in New York so we use our regular whole milk it's basically a house made ricotta and then we top it with spicy guava jam don't worry, it's American spicy. It's not that spicy. And then we added some uh, first pressed olive oil, some lime zest, and then we finish it with our asin tibuok. So asin tibuok is um, from Bohol, from the Visayas region of the Philippines. So what they do is they basically um, slow cook the salt water in this clay pot until it solidifies. So they cook it in that coconut. So this is our first course now uh, of the 13 course menu. And this is the bread section. It's called pan de igorot. And basically it's a sourdough and they put white cheese, which they make from at home. It's like a ricotta, homemade ricotta. And it also has spicy guava jam. So we're going to taste this first course, which is kind of like an appetizer. Looks excellent. Okay, Marconi, let's dig in. Dig in. Look at this. Oh my god. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. Mm. That homemade ricotta is so good. And it goes so well with the with the guava jam. Yeah, one like. So good. Oh my god. And that's just the first. That's the uh, spicy guava jam. And that's what makes it Filipino. Mm. This is so good. We have 12 more courses to go, but we ordered two extra courses. So we ordered a crack cake dessert and a um, pork ribs. Uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, um, plate. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't believe it. 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 I can't believe it.
this sequel comes up, I see it. Okay. Ah, damn. Got the bread was so crispy, and then you have this wonderful topping with the castle pudding, which is white cheese, and then the guava. It works well with the guava jelly. It's a spicy guava jelly. It's so good. It really the flavors are very cohesive. So next is we're gonna have an okoi, and I love okoi. Yeah. So okoi is actually a vegetable fritter, and it's going to be having a sea urchin, sweet potato, and corn. So it's deep fried and corn. It's one of my favorite things. My mother used to make it with um, with viniwa uh, dilis, which is a kind of a fish, and she shrimp, shrimp in it, and it would have tofu in it and various vegetables in a batter so it's a vegetable fritter and then you fry it and you serve it usually with vinegar and, uh, and garlic vinegar sauce you know and it's amazing I will see this sounds like on top of the Okoi. Uh, okay, uh, yep, okoi is like some chayote, sweet, uh, sweet potato, chopped anchovies. And then under the Hokkaido uni, there's um, sinama payoni. So uh. sinama is from the Visayas Sweden. So we fold it in from fresh. Ito na yung drama. Okay, na? All right. Sige na. Okay. So Ooh. underneath, we got kinilaw. So uh, it's a uh, bakok, oh. uh, hamachi. Oh. Uh, hiramasa, basically. So with grilled pineapple, some charcoal, cracker, and then some some kinilaw vinegar. Wow. Right? We suggest that you eat the okay first and then follow with the ceviche. Right? So, um, the master chef himself. <laughs> Wow, look at that. So this is basically a vegetable fritter. It has, like she said, the sear engine, the sweet potato. And then this is the kinilao, which is a seafood ceviche. And it has, it has a charcoal flavor, so it's cooked with charcoal. Okay, let's dig in. Oh my god. I could eat about five of these. Okay. Try it, my tongue. So my turn. That's the only that I remember. It's very authentic. At the same time, she, she added some twist there. Yes. It's real no flavor. So crispy, It just has a perfect blend of flavors when you combine the sea urchin and the sweet potato. Yeah, and deeply fried. Oh, God, that's good. It's not oily. It's just like, mm. it's so good. So, the next thing that she said that we have to try is the seafood ceviche, which they call kimi lao. So, it has the charcoal, so Marconi, let's, let's dig in. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Wow, my God. No, it's my turn. Wow. That vinaigrette is perfect. Mm -hmm. so I mean, that's your piece. Oh, my God. That's your piece. That's your piece. Mm. Mm. Oh, my God. It's delicious. Yes. I approve. That's yours. Take the whole piece. I know. I want to eat it the way I want to eat it. Okay. Oh my god, that's so good. Wow, that's that so is so good. good. Okay, this is mine. Oh wow. It's mine. Mine. <laughs> I'm gonna eat it the way I want it. It's very happy. Oh yeah. Hi. And now, I'm asking you. Mm, that's so good. Tender, juicy hot dog. Mm. So there's some chicken wings, yes, sure. grilled buckle inside, and oil inside. It has our ample tomato. We have golden raisins, crispness, and tender, juicy hot dog. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is a nice smoky flavor as well. All right. Have avocado aioli, and then on top is a pickle papaya. So you can put it on your hands. I can smell it. Thank you. Thank you. So brilliant pop pop. So pop means pop, pop means wing, chicken wing. So this is stuffed with uh, Philippine meatloaf, which is called embotido. And one thing that kind of makes Philippine meatloaf stand out is that we use this juicy hot dog. It is only made in the Philippines. It's a red hot dog, but it really adds to the flavor. So this is stuffed with that, and it has a natto oil and things like that. So I'm really looking forward to trying this. I want another one. And my turn. Look at this, how pretty the presentation is. Really good. So good. But I want to see my food. I want to, eat, want to see what I'm eating. It's so warm. Look at this thing. This is veggies. Mm -hmm. Wow. Really good. It's a blue crab uh, dunking with crab thing. Underneath it's a turmeric coconut um, coconut curry. Then we finish that off with a jellyfish cilantro salad and um, amber etc. cadmium. Oh, wow. All right, thank you. Wow. wow. So this is one of the special things that we got as an add-on. It's um, a crab cake with caviar and this wonderful sauce with a kind of a curry coconut cream sauce here. So we're going to try it now. <laughs> Let's try it, Marco. Mm. Oh, that is so good. Mm. Even the vegetables are like so big. I love the vegetable salad that's on the side accompanying this has a wonderful, you know, coriander. It's just like mm, all this coriander. It's just amazing. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to try it with the caviar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Oh wow. The Windy Days. They are fantastic. With the caviar. It just accents and brings out the flavor of the crab. So much more. So this is a Filipino egg. It's a duck egg. And it's made with a mushroom velouté and it has caviar on top. So we're going to try this right here. And look at the, what do you call that? The, just look at that. What do you call this thing? The holder of the Hanoi. Yes. It's a duck foot. It's a duck egg. So. Try this. Oh my god. That is so good. This is the that's a wonderful question. Did they make out of the duck eggs? Have you guys heard of Baloos before? Yes. So Baloos is like a duck egg. Look how smooth that. It's made of the things on stuff and we are ready to So these are actually a real duck egg shell. Look at that. And then they're so smooth. You can't even. But don't worry, we're not going to cut your what can I say? Never had penoy like this before. Mm. I see my food. Hold on. There you go. So what's in it again? So it's a mushroom velouté, which is made with duck eggs. So it's like a custard. It's a mushroom custard made with eggs. And then it has the ostra caviar on top of it. Mm. So good. It's like a leche flan. So the flavor. The flavor is amazing. Mm -hmm. Getting full. <laughs> Mm. Oh my god. Mm. Next one is Bulalo. Bone broth. The Mishima Reserve Wagyu. An upscale version of Baluk. But it's called Panoi. Because you know, you don't see the duck. I mean the baby duck. It's just the embryo. Not really. I'm gonna edit that. Isn't that good? It has caviar. It's so sharp. Mm. And I saw how she makes this on YouTube. It's, it's very scientific. <laughs> That's then, really the And then they sand it with you know, you know, the edges so it doesn't cut, cut you. She uses a, a special really machine to cut the yeah. mm. No, she's just sanding it. No, no. Oh, no. I mean, she, 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 she it cuts it, then she sands it. It hits mm -hmm. it and taps it, and that's what cuts it. Yeah. Uh. And of course, being Filipino, this we will reuse over and over again. <laughs> We will wash it and then we will reuse it again. No, not I mean here. reuse, reuse, and reuse. <laughs> but they don't do that here. But of course, this is America. They're not, that's not allowed. Yeah, this is really nice. I want to take it home. It's a real shell. I don't know if it would make the trip, but oh, happy. Wow. Huh? Very happy. There you go. Just put it right there. Yeah.
So what is this? Yeah, it's a Savoy cabbage. It's wrapped around pearl wagyu shrimp. Oh. Oh. Kind of soup over, and then we wrap. Oh yes, please. It's yes. inside with a fork first, and then you can just pick up the bowl on the broth. Yeah. 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 Oh wow. So this is beef bone broth, but in the middle of there, there's a Savoy cabbage, and it's covering a piece of Wagyu beef. So we're going to dig in and see how this is. See that? Beautiful. I'll try it. So it's the broth first. There's the beef. Oh, look at that. Mm. Oh, sweet. <laughs> oh my god. That's a very refreshing broth. Mm. You're gonna love the beef. It's a nice broth. Not very heavy, but light and refreshing. Kind of cleanses the palate. Yeah, we're about a little less than halfway through our tasting menu, so it's always good to have something to uh, kind of soothe the stomach, and it's so flavorful. Mm -hmm. So good, so good. Marconi. No, no. Oh, this is a yeah. 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 Like oh, okay. Octopus. Mm -hmm. On the bottom of the octopus is a calamansi sofrito. On top of the ukulele nut carbonara with microsoft. Okay, okay. Uh, wait a minute. Wait, let's start over, buddy. This is the fried octopus, and underneath is what? A calamansi sofrito. A calamansi sofrito. And what is the sauce underneath there? That's the sofrito. Oh, that's the oh, sofrito. What you're talking about was on top is the ukulele nut carbonara. The ukulele nut is like mellow Oh. This is the octopus down here. So the octopus is down here. This is the sofrito, which is the red part. Yeah, and on top is the with And this one? This one is our usual dry called the snuggle. So it's a roasted maitake and mushroom. On top is a kung kung So So this is the halamos. This is the vegetable thing. The steamed vegetables. I love lai, which is it's very comforting. Ooh, thank you. Look at this. Okay, Marconi, you start first. But this has the green thing, and then you split the one of the swine, yeah. Sherry. Sofrito. No, the sofrito is the red sauce. It has a fried calamari. Yeah. Mm. Mm. You have to eat it with the sofrito and the. Delicious. Chef. And then more. You have to put the sofrito on mm. that thing. Yeah. You are awesome. The fried octopus melts in your mouth. Mm. And with that tomatoey, spicy sofrito, it really enhances the flavor of the fried octopus. Yeah, I don't know. But it's the It's so tender. You could cut it, it's like butter. So, I would suggest eating it this way, taking the sofrito. Mm -hmm. With the microgreens. I think it was still the like, the mm. sauce. Mm. 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 Mm.
So the next thing we have is a mushroom here, and it has this vegetable, steamed vegetable, kalai, and it's made with coconut milk. So I'm going to split this in half, and you can have that, and, and I will have this. I know. And make sure you get the cream sauce. Oh my god. You can taste the coconut. I've never had la ing like this. You know, served over a, a grilled mushroom. Mm -hmm. Oh, like this one too. I love this. It's all steamed vegetables. It's so flavorful. Each thing is different in their flavor profile. Marconi, try this. Isn't that good? You can taste the So it's basically um, wrapped and marinated in a uh, tamarind brown butter. So our tamarind we fermented a little bit to get that like um, umami flavor. And then we finish it with pamapa crumb. So pamapa is from the Mindanao region, very Malay. Uh -huh. They use turmeric, galangal, uh, kafir lime leaves. And then we added some breadcrumbs for a little bit of that uh, crunchiness. And then a little bit of that lime zest and lime seconds for a chili seed. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. yeah. Look at that. So this is grilled shrimp. Oh, let's try it. Let's dig in right now. I'll take a photo first. Yeah. Okay. Sure. I want to take a picture for Andrew. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Wow, look at that. Yeah. Yes. Thanks. That's worth it. Oh my God. So, Pomapa is very Malay, one here in Malaysia. Uh, so, we use our peppery, balamga, fatty lime leaves, all those like that. Very strong uh, spices. And then we finish it with lime segments and some lime zest, a little bit of acidity. The, the shrimp is like butter, and then it has this nice crumbly, kind of a garlicky flavored topping. And it's made with a tamarind brown butter. So it's just a little bit sweet, but not too sweet, but sweet in a nice way. It really enhances the flavor of this 
prawn. I'm trying to eat it in smaller pieces so it lasts longer. Let's try it now, Marconi. And then we finish it with real jam. Social talaga. Social talaga. Oh my god, this is. I'm glad we're splitting this. How are we going to eat this? Oh, it's so this is like the green pork it's made with Philippine banana ketchup and some other type of jam and it's roasted it's tender you can smell it so we're splitting this wow I love it. this is one of the supplements that we got now for the taste. Yeah. It smells so good. Mm. All that porky goodness. Mm. Marconi, you gotta try this now. Mm. This is so good. I love the fat and the juiciness. It's so tender. Just the right amount of sweetness. You can taste the fat. I mean, if you love pork ribs, you will love this. And she said it's Bina Goongan, right? Bina Sushal na Oh, I love it. Upscale Bagoong. So after we serve the pork sparrows, which are right down here, which are still good, we're working on that, we were brought two more dishes. Can you believe it? Right down here is a steamed rice. It's kind of like the soft grain rice, so it's sticky rice, but it's made with um, a crunchy topping, so each bite has a crunch to it. And it pairs perfectly with the pork sparrows. In addition to that, we have this thing called caldareta. And this is actually a Philippine stew, but this is made with uh, duck breast, with a toyo, a, a toyo, what do you call it? A soy sauce, calamansi sauce. And then it has red peppers here as a side. So we're gonna try this and try this, so. Oh, wow, I am super full. I didn't realize, you know, a 13 course meal could be so yeah. and we've had more in the past so this one is really oh god feeling already so rich you know filipino food of course but upscale this sauce is so good uh, so you have to eat it with the puree she said so it tastes like a caldereta this is the duck breast with the sauce <laughs> what a duck
duck fresh. Wow. Oh my god. Better. The best. This really I never I've been saying that everything melts in your mouth. This really melts in your mouth. Mm. Mm. It's one of the best duck breasts I've ever tried. A lot of times when they cook duck breasts, it's very dry. Yeah. This one is juicy and moist, flavorful and very, very, as I say, malambot, very soft. Marconi tender. Yes, I will. <laughs> and dip it in the sauce. Really? <laughs> 19 years, so 19 years together. <laughs> well, he said 20, but it's 19 actually. I calculated that. Yeah, about 12 years married. Yes. <laughs> What's this? This is. Oh, this is our Maha Blanca. Oh, the Maha Blanca. Corn semi fredo. This are just little things we 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 get. Or special. Oh, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, Adam. Let's so do this it. is the final dessert part, and since we're celebrating our um, anniversary, we've been together 19 years, and this is the 11th year that we've been married. So this is kind of like like honey boys or something like that. This one's is going to be caramel and chocolate. So this is caramel and chocolate. They look so good, and this is a thing called maha blanca with like corn. Corn pudding. Okay, so let's take a look. Together. One, two, three. Yay! Happy anniversary. All right, you dig in. So this is caramel and that's chocolate. This is caramel. I'm gonna take half the caramel. Take a bite. There we go. <laughs> this one is the one. This is a pudding. Oh my god. This is fantastic. Wow, this is the best dessert. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not like any other Maha Blanca I've ever had. This is really kicked up and nauseous. That's delicious. Yeah. So it's kind of like it's not too sweet. It has a very, very crumbly interior. And then it has this, this sauce, this kind of caramel like mm. 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 kind of a plum fresh taste. It's so good. Wow. I mean, we're full. But they say you always have room for dessert. And this is amazing. It's one of the best desserts I've ever had. It's a so this is the very last course. This is Halo Halo, but it's a frozen Halo Halo. We saw her do this on the documentary. So she takes the flavor of Halo Halo. Halo Halo is a famous Philippine dessert, which means mix mix. And it's basically shaved ice with condensed milk and all these different types of fruits and flan. And they put flan in it. And so you eat it. It's really great on a hot day, which in Palm Springs is almost every day. So this, she's kind of taking the flavors 
and yeah, distilled it into these balls. So we're gonna try the last halo halo flavored. Yes. So you pick it up. It's ice cold. It's supposed to explode in your mouth, right? It did. Oh, it's cold. It's so tasty. It has kind of like a, a creamy, ice cream, caramelly flavor. And when you bite it, it just explodes in the mouth. So it's frozen. Because I think she does this with nitrogen. How do you? How would you describe the flavor? Mm. Mm. I can taste that macapino. Yes. So the coconut flavor. Pineapple there. The pineapple. Yeah. Mm. It's really. It's a hodgepodge of flavors. It's a hodgepodge of flavors. So you take all that shaved ice stuff, kind of like combine it together, and then put it into a frozen ball that you just kind of desire with your mouth, dissolve in your mouth. Really good. I've never had an interpretation of halo halo this way. We're used to the traditional shaved ice in a big glass cup, you know. Yes. Wow. What an experience this has been. <laughs> we finished it. And in addition to the 13 course tasting menu, we added two more. So we actually had a 15 course tasting menu. And then they gave us an extra dessert. So that's 16 course tasting menu. So we actually had 16 tastings. Wow. Wow. I am so full. Oh. This place, Tadhana, uh, in uh, New York City, Philippine restaurant is well worth a visit. And I can't, I said it went beyond my expectations, our expectations, and it was just a beautiful way to celebrate our 11th anniversary. Uh, but we've actually been together for 19 years, so it really was worth it. It's a perfect way to celebrate a wonderful relationship and a wonderful occasion such as this. So I would highly recommend coming to this place. You have to make reservations online, and they accept reservations from two to four people. And you will have a 13 course tasting menu with the option of adding others as they have supplement tastings. But whatever you do, it is a special occasion thing. Or if you really like to eat and taste new things, you will not be disappointed. I was really impressed. You know, being from the Philippines, you know, seeing Philippine food interpreted this way, it's just like a wonderful experience and it warms my heart. That Philippine cuisine can be interpreted by such a capable chef as Chef Francis. Chef Francis, amazing. So, by all means, hustle on down here if you're ever in New York. It's well worth the visit. Yeah. Sayonara. To thank everyone for coming to Tadhana. Uh, thank you for allowing us to show you our culture and our food. And thank you for allowing us to show you what Filipino food can be. Yes. Maraming maraming salamat po. Thank you very much. Sigaw! Sigaw! Thank you, salamat! <laughs> I'm here to do it. Chef Francis, saludo a Tosaya. <sighs> wow, it's so full. That was yes. the best experience and happy anniversary, Miles. Happy, happy anniversary. And thank you for this wonderful treat. And we met uh, an amazing chef, Francis Tariga. And very, very nice. Um, very warm and very welcoming. Warm. We mm -hmm. felt like we were at home. The food was like, like as she said, you know, she thanked us for you know, appreciating their, supporting them, and then just knowing, allowing them to show us what Philippine food could be. Yeah, so, until next, and as Adam told him, back there, we'll yeah. be back, but not tomorrow. <laughs> All right, good night. Good night. <laughs>